Welcome people to my new video. I uh, apologize for my bad English and I will rush a little because I'm you know very busy with other uh, things. So this is about the Poisson distribution in gambling and it was a question uh, question asked by a Crazy Roulette. Uh, so the channel asked me to clar clarify a little more this Poisson distribution. So first the uh, definition probability distribution that expresses the probability of a given number of events occurring in a fixed interval of time or space if these events occur with a known constant mean rate and independently of the time since the last event. So an example, I will show there an example is, okay, you have a call center receives an, on average, very important, on average, 180 calls per hour, 24 hours a day. The calls are independent, receiving one does not change the probability of when the next one will arrive. The next, the number of calls received during any minute has a Poisson distribution probability distribution. The most likely numbers are 2 and 3, but 1 and 4 are also likely and there is a small probability of it being as low as 0 and very small probability it could be 10. Important, it's an, uh, on average 180 calls per hour. Uh, in reality you will see things like the first hour you will, uh, this call center will receive 100 calls, then the second hour they will see receive 260 calls, right? So 100 plus 260 is uh, 360 divided by 2 is on average indeed 180 calls. So well, in gambling it's the same. There is a given number of events, like here, it's a given number of events, given number, number of events. Uh, so event A will occur one time, event B will occur two times, Event C maybe five times, uh, D ten times, E hundred thirty times. Right? But the question is, uh, in one year, in one month, in one week, every minute, you know? Okay. Uh, in a fixed interval of time or space, you know, in gambling, it's a fixed amount of spins. Every six spins, every thirty spins, every two spins, every five spins. At the uh, known constant mean rate, uh, event A will occur one time in three spins. Event B maybe will occur one time in six spins. Event C maybe will occur one time in 30 spins, uh, like a dozen or a column. So we will ignore zero for now, but do not complicate things. Groups of three spins you will see dozen one. Then the next three spins, and theoretically you will see dozen one again. Then the next three spins, oh, dozen one. In reality, it's the spin one, spin two, spin three, spin four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But we will um, cut them in groups of three. We'll get something like this, dozen one, dozen two, dozen three, dozen one, dozen two, dozen three, dozen one, dozen two, dozen three. A group of three spins, we will see a dozen one. Next group of three, three spins, dozen one. The next group of three spins, dozen one. Right? But this is more the reality, of course. Like dozen one, dozen one, dozen two, dozen three, dozen one, dozen three, dozen two, dozen two, dozen three. Two times dozen one in this group of three spins, one dozen one in next group of three spins and then not one single um, dozen one in this group of three spins right that's more the reality that's also the reality dozen one in this group of three spins here is also dozen one in uh, the next group of three spins and also dozen one in the next uh, group of three spins but located at a different place right so here it's spin 1, spin 2, spin 3. But the whole point now is that our betting level system will follow this group of 3 spins. And when we count, we will follow this group of 3 spins. 3 times the first type, 3 times the next type, and then next. We will bet 1, 1, 1, then 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. So if we would follow 
if we will bet 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, and so on, we're not following the thought of the 3 spins group. We raise every 2 spins, but we need to raise every group of 3 spins. So it just dim I will demonstrate. Okay, so uh, dozen one. So we bet dozen one, and we count. So one, and the second, the second one. Now the third one, right? Three. Okay. But we didn't win, so we reset. One. Okay, we win. So reset the system. One. Yeah, okay, we are lucky now. So one. And we reset the system, so one. Yeah, we are lucky. So we collect, uh, we reset one. Now two, right? So the same betting level, but the second time, so two, we count two. Now the same betting level, but now three, right? This is three. And we need to beat this 005. Three. Now the next. So two for the first time. So one, we count one. The same betting level, but two, two. Same betting level, but three, right? We bet three. Uh, we bet uh, two, but uh, the this is the third counter. Now we need to raise by one, right? So one, two, three. The first time, so we count one, one. Collect. We did not beat the 005, so we keep on to 3. The second time, right? We counted 1, now it's we count 2. That's it's our second counter. 2. Okay. We beat the 005, so we reset the system. Now we need to beat 009. So 1. Okay, reset. We need to beat o, uh, 011, right? So 1. Okay. We need to beat 13. So reset the system. 1. Same betting level, but the second time our counter is now two, but with betting level one, two. Three. 
same level, but three, count to three. Now you can say, okay, we did not beat 13, so we, we bet now two the first time, right? So count to one. Same, so but count to two, right? This two. Have we beat? Now we need to beat 15 and so on, right? Now you can do uh, with, uh, you know, uh, with single numbers. Uh, let's say we will bet nine numbers. So 37 divided by nine is four. So completely random. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So four, now we need to count in uh, groups of four, right? So and we need to buy bit 15. So one, okay. Now we need to beat 42, let's say the same. So we reset the system one. Right, two, so the same, but the second time, so two. Now we need to beat 60. Reset the system, one. Two. Three. Four. Four. Now we need to so increase by one unit, and now it's one. Eh? Our count is now one. Okay, two. did not beat 60, so we need to keep on counting. It's now three, right? Three, our count is now three. Okay, and now we win. We can reset the system, right? Be very careful, guys. I mean, now open up your ears, very important. Coldness is losing. Right, uh, if you, what you bet stays cold, system, systematically cold, you will always lose. So you need a stop loss before you play, right? But in game theory, you know, I study economy and you know, after uh, accountancy, in game theory, it's you know what we call the dominant strategy. You have to play like this, but you can be unlucky, you know. So you need a stop loss. Now you can build in safety variations, you know, you can use standard deviation units, right? You can say, okay, I will use one standard deviation unit. So you bet one, one, one. And then the standard deviation unit is again a group of three spins. So you bet one, 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 then one, one, one. And then you go to, to, to the two, 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 two. Then you go to the three, 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 three three, 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 and so on. Or you can build in two standard deviation units. So a second here, a second uh, group of 
uh, three spins uh, when you play the dozen, uh, dozen one or whatever, right? So the one, 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 one. Then you go to the two, 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 three, 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 three,